Hey, my name is Sam and welcome to a brand new Sims video. Today we're going to try a different angle, see if I can keep my whole face in frame. Uh, but we are going to, um, I'm going to be reacting and giving my initial thoughts on the official gameplay trailer for The Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle. I'm going to keep calling it Eco Living, honestly. Um, but yeah, I have seen a couple of little spoilers or like um, theories on Twitter because um, I can't avoid social media apparently um but i am going to jump into it and we are going to react so let's go okay so i've got the trailer up and we are going to react let's go finally back home in beautiful evergreen i still love his hairstyle oh oh no harper what happened to this place you go to university for a few years and the whole town falls in love with trash Okay, that's happening. They wait, 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 wait. Dumpster woohoo! Bitch is getting down and dirty. Literally. Okay. I know we can do better. I like the concepts of the off the grid stuff. Um. I think I was introducing Nyland living like the off-the-grid trait and it'll be fun to try doing like a let's play with like the off-grid thing with this pack using like the wind turbines and the solar panels and stuff. I think that'll be a really fun thing to do. It's a real I really really hope that these piercings are going to be available because I want stretch ears and a nose ring. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, I still really like the clothing that's good that's um been shown. The kid feet, though. Sorry, <laughs> Diane. Knox is campaigning to change this barren Poor Diane. <laughs> the vertical gardens. I that is one of the things I'm really excited about is like this vertical garden thing here. I really hope it that is something that you can build because it, it I think that would be really fun. And like I just want them to be build a Really awesome community garden. I just uh, he tell me excited about this pack. Harvesting insects for a crunchy alternative to meat. Eating insects. Um, I know that's like a common thing in some place in the world, but that's not really a thing in England. So to hear that, I'm just a bit like, um, but having that as an alternative to meat, you're still eating an animal though. So I'm like. You know, I don't know. Maybe there's some stuff like some like research or something behind it. I don't really know. Also, this bike is fucking cute. Just just want to point that out there. Community maker space. <laughs> I love this paper bag thing. Also, a community maker space. Why is he upset? It's re that's a really cool idea. But that and again is coming from some of that is an art. I am an artist, I do enjoy making things, so I'm probably going to really enjoy that, but he seemed really into the old community garden thing. But that could be his space, a little community garden. I love me some homegrown, ultra-organic, fresh farm to table fizzy juice. Fizzy juice, guys. Um, they put a lot of emphasis on that. It feels like an ad for fizzy juice. Oh, oh Jesus. Um, yeah. What's the thing for that? Oh, the um, upcycling of like the compacting thing. Seriously, I'm getting not monster thing vibes whenever I see that. Maybe I'll leave that part to Bess. Her inventions. Yeah, one of the things that I saw on Twitter was um that bit where she gets like in in there. Um, someone was like, could that be a potential death? And I'm like, that'd be an interesting one <laughs> if it is. I don't know if it will be, but it'd be an interesting one. Oh. This looks really cool. If this is one of the furniture pieces, it looks pretty awesome. I love, okay, I'm, this, okay, it's remind me of the Pixar lamp, for starters. Um, I mean, having wood and electrical stuff probably isn't the greatest idea, but it's it is sims you know it, it doesn't have to be super accurate but i really like the shelf in it and also back here this um hand thing on the wall that looks 
cool as heck. But yeah, I really like this. It's given me um as a there was a design company, I think it's back in the eighties called Memphis Design. And like the shapes and stuff, it's given me that vibe. Um I don't know if anyone will understand what I'm on about, but that's what I'm getting from from this furniture. But it's pretty cool. Okay, so my initial thoughts is we don't actually learn much more about the game um, from this trailer than what we already kind of knew, like got from the first trailer that they dropped and basically announcing this pack. Um, the only thing we kind of learn is that, there's good, that there might be a dumpster woohoo and maybe um, um, it was a bit of an introduction to a couple of the characters which I'm guessing they're going to be like um, like the might like, not like come with the pack. Um, like we don't really learn much else, unfortunately, which kind of sucks because like that's the sort of thing I want to do. Like I want I want to learn more about what the packs, like, more about um, different elements of the packs and stuff. But I don't feel like we did learn much more about it. I want to know more about the different things that are going to come in the back log. I want to know more about the candle making and like the community like the community voted spaces and that sort of stuff. I want to know more about that. So I'm a little bit disappointed in the trailer if I'm honest. I just, I kind of want to learn more about it and I feel like all I really learnt was a bit about these characters and we might be getting a new woohoo. Which is kind, and that one's kind of gross. Okay, I just wanted to quickly jump in here. Um, I scro scrolled down to look at the um, look at the comments, and someone made a good point. They speak in English, and not Simish. That was kind of odd. So, as I was just ending this video, I was going to edit it. I went on Twitter, and I found out that The Sims released a new um news post about the about um. The new expansion pack, so we are going to go and read through that, um, and hope and let's see if we can get some more information. We need to actually get a lot within the game. Check your impact in almost any neighborhood or world of your choosing, excluding Strangeville and Destination World, or pause the eco footprint effects um, in gameplay menu. That's kind of cool actually, because I was, I saw some people like I be like, is it going to be just in the neighbor in Evergreen Harbour was gonna be in other um in other worlds in the game. But that's cool. That you can have it in other worlds if you want to, but you can also turn it off so that isn't a thing. Dumpsters, yes. Um near the T V table you've managed to check the dumpsters, there's a lot of fun things you'll find in the trash for aren't all junk. Um sure the matches have might have coffee stains or a tear or two, but you can fix it up or choose it as is. Buh, 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 buh. There's no reason to buy anything new and you can basically finish your house without seeing sing, a single smoking. So, I said this in the first time I did like, the reaction. I'm so happy they're bringing back dumpster diving. It was one of my favourite things to make my Sims do in Sims 3. Um, just make sure the dumpster is not already occupied by any other Sims getting frisky. That is a woo woo! Oh my god. Okay, I said that really loud and I think my boyfriend's still asleep. So, um, yeah, if you have me chat. That's a who That's gonna be an interesting one. Okay, you cool. Okay, you can sell it, or you can turn into something new. With the recycler, you can break that old couch down into reusable components for your next invention. Oh, that's kind of cool. Get the rest of your materials. Keep an eye out for bits and pieces when you scrounge around the dumpster. Once you've collected enough, you can create your own items with a fabulous new fabricator. That's cool. Being able to like, make your own. Furniture and stuff that's gonna be cool. So it's like some of the, like, the furniture that comes in the game, like the build items, gonna be like specifically things you have to build to un un in order to unlock them. That'll be quite cool. And um, then this section's about like sustainable resources like wind turbines and solar panels to have electricity in your home. Um, um, and it expands the off to grid functionality. That's quite cool. Um, Sims can choose to um, to, um, might choose to gather their water with a dew collector too. Still don't know what a dew collector is, but um, yeah, um, of course you can always go to just issue your power route if green energy isn't your thing. So that's cool. Um, explore two new careers. You've got the civil designer. Um, you can make inventions. Um, or you can 
um, go into the freelance crafter so you can make um, fizzy juice, be a furniture maker or candle maker once you've gathered your resources or ingredients from your pepper storage. You can work and fill orders for your computer as a freelance crafter. That one's going to be so much fun. Oh, you can also sell all your goods with an entrepreneur's table in the community space. That's going to be so fun. I'm really excited for that. Um, and then we have this screenshot. Um, I kind of want to take a quick look at the furniture. Um, well, we already have these sort of cabinets. This sort of shelving unit is quite cool. Someone pointed out on Twitter, but this is a doll's house. How cool is that? Like, that's a doll's house. And it looks like it's made out, like, this, um, I think that's a wood. And that just, it looks really cool. Um, I like the shelving unit at the back here. And then, like, you have other bits of furniture as well. So that's quite cool. Uh, <coughs> sorry. Um, oh, my drink's over there. Oh, well. Um, every week, uh, um, action neighborhood plans. Um, you can build it. Oh, you can build. Oh, you can do the community space in any other world. That's cool. Um, bring some scale around vertical garden, bring bay. Um, oh, that's cool. So basically, um, these sort of things can be in any other world. That's so cool. Um, and then this is about the bug thing. Um, bees aren't the aren't the queen bees in Sims 4 anymore, although they do produce wax. So I guess, oh, if they produce wax, then they can probably be used for candles, because I know cause that is a thing. You can have, like, like um, bee wax candles and stuff. Um, the new insect farm. Ah, an insect farm. That's going to be weird. Um, well, toddlers and children could play with grubs and crickets. Bombardier beetles. Um... Provide biofuel for the power generator, or if you're feeling adventurous, treat your sim to a healthy, crunchy protein filled meal. Don't just set them smart at anyone afterwards, or they might see a beetle legs again. T gross. Yeah, that is gross, um, but that is kind of all um, it just says about pre ordering and where you can find them and more information. But we got so much more information in this um, news um, article update thing than the actual trailer. And honestly, I kind of wish they had like, the same amount of energy in that one. Like, get, like there's so many things that they could have covered in that trailer, but they never did. Like, even just mentioning like things like how that how it can affect other worlds, not just Evergreen Harbor, would have been so good. Um, but I'm now I'm really happy to know more like about like like the different um, careers, some of the. Uh, some of the interesting aspects of the um, gameplay and the fact that it's not just going to affect Evergreen Harbour is awesome. Um, so um, yes, yeah, so now I'm I'm hyped about um, what I read here. Still a bit disappointed in the trailer. Again, she's speaking English. In a, it's a Sims game. She's speaking English. It's so it was so weird. I was like, why is there something in my head? I was like, there's something so weird about the voiceover. And I saw that comment. I was like, ah oh, shit, that's what it was. Um, but I hope, yeah. But I think that's about it. There's um, this is kind of the update that um, we've had so far. Um, I'll leave a link to this post and the gameplay trailer in the description if you guys want to check it out yourself. But um, I'm I'm still looking forward to this pack. Um, I definitely want to play around with the freelance crafty, crafter career, um, making furniture and seeing how um, it affects other worlds and not just Evergreen Harbour. So that'll be really really fun. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and um, go if you let me know your opinions on this pack. Um, if you're gonna comment your opinions, just be civil. I don't. If you're gonna start, if you're gonna be arguing, I'm deleting your comments. I don't just don't don't have time for that. But um, do let me know what you think. Are you excited about this pack? Are you not? Um, how are you feeling about it? Um, let me know in the comments. Um, like this video and subscribe um, and I guess I'll see you next video so bye guys